Hey, have you ever heard the story of Albania? Albania? Isn't that a country in Eastern Europe? Yep, that's the one. It has a fascinating history. Tell me about it. Well, Albania has been around for centuries, but its story really gets interesting in the Middle Ages. It was part of the Byzantine Empire then. Oh, like many other Balkan countries. Exactly. But what's unique about Albania is its resistance against various empires. They fought off the Ottomans for centuries. That's impressive. But didn't they eventually fall under Ottoman rule? They did, but even then, Albania maintained its cultural identity. They fiercely held on to their language, traditions, and even their religion. I've heard they have a diverse religious landscape. Absolutely. You'll find Muslims, Christians, and even some Eastern Orthodox communities there. It's like a melting pot of faiths. Wasn't that a pretty harsh regime? It was. Albania was isolated from the rest of the world during that time. But after the fall of communism in the early 90s, Albania began to open up. And now? Now, Albania is finding its footing in the modern world. It's still grappling with some challenges, but it's a country with a rich history and a resilient spirit. Sounds like a place with a lot of stories to tell. Definitely. It's a small country, but its story is as grand as any epic tale. What about their culture? I've heard Albanian music and dance are quite unique. Oh, absolutely. Albanian folk music is vibrant and varied, reflecting the country's diverse regional influences. And their traditional dances are captivating, often performed in colorful costumes at festivals and celebrations. That sounds amazing. And what about the landscapes? Ah, uh, the landscapes are breathtaking. From the rugged mountains of the Albanian Alps to the pristine beaches along the Adriatic and Ionian seas, Albania offers a stunning mix of natural beauty. It sounds like a paradise for adventurers and nature lovers. Indeed. There's something for everyone, whether you're into hiking, exploring ancient ruins, or simply soaking up the Mediterranean sun. I'll definitely have to add Albania to my travel bucket list. You won't regret it. It's a country that's full of surprises and hidden gems, just waiting to be discovered. I'm curious, what about the people of Albania? What are they like? Ah, the Albanian people are incredibly hospitable and proud of their heritage. Despite the challenges they face throughout history, there's a strong sense of community and resilience among them. That's admirable. I've always found the culture of resilience in certain nations quite inspiring. Absolutely. Albanians have a saying, Besa, which means keeping one's word of honor. It's a reflection of their deep sense of loyalty and solidarity, especially in times of hardship. It sounds like they have a rich cultural tapestry woven with values of honor and strength. That's a great way to put it. And despite their turbulent past, there's a palpable sense of optimism for the future among Albanians. They're eager to embrace progress while cherishing their traditions. It sounds like a country with a lot of heart. Definitely. Albania may be small in size, but its spirit is boundless. It's a place where history, culture, and natural beauty converge to create an unforgettable experience for anyone who visits. Speaking of history, weren't there some notable figures from Albania who left their mark on the world stage? Absolutely. One of the most famous Albanians is Mother Teresa, known for her selfless humanitarian work and dedication to serving the poor and needy. Ah, uh, yes. Her legacy is truly inspiring. Are there any other historical figures worth mentioning? Definitely. Skanderbeg is another legendary figure in Albanian history. He was a nobleman who led a fierce resistance against the Ottoman Empire in the 15th century, earning him the title the Dragon of Albania. Skanderbeg sounds like a true hero. It's incredible to think of the courage and determination he must have had to stand up against such a powerful empire. Absolutely. His legacy is still celebrated in Albania today, and you can even visit his castle, Kruja Castle, which offers stunning views of the surrounding landscape. Wow, that sounds like a must-visit for history enthusiasts. But what about tourists who are more interested in modern attractions? Well, Albania has something for everyone. Tirana, the capital city, is a vibrant metropolis with a unique blend of old and new. You'll find colorful buildings, bustling markets, and trendy cafes, all against the backdrop of the majestic Dajti Mountain. That sounds like a city with a lot of character. And what about wealthy tourists looking for luxury experiences? Albania has seen a rise in luxury tourism in recent years, with upscale resorts and boutique hotels dotting the coastline. Places like Dermi and Saranda offer luxury accommodations with stunning views of the Ionian Sea. That sounds like a dream getaway for those looking to indulge in a bit of luxury. It seems like Albania truly has something for everyone, from history buffs to adventure seekers to luxury travelers. Absolutely. 
Whether you're exploring ancient ruins, lounging on pristine beaches, or immersing yourself in the vibrant culture of Tirana, Albania is sure to leave a lasting impression.